I cannot just focus on one topic because we have a firework of innovation which we are showing here on, on IAA 2024. So at first we are focusing on the mega trends of the industry that is on the one side zero emission where we have introduced here our new modular e-mobility kit that is containing out of different e-motors, an inverter, this free speed transmission and the different electronic and mechatronic components. And with that, we can provide customized solutions to our customers serving their needs in their markets. We derive out of that uh, electric power takeoff and a mechanical power takeoff for e-mobility, which we're offering here. We have the related compressors, because you know e-mobility need to have noise-reduced compressors, which we're introducing here, just to mention a few areas in there. We have fuel cell technologies, which we provide. We have a world premiere here with our Traxxon 2 hybrid technology. So we introduce now hybrid as well in heavy commercial vehicles. We have on the driver assistance side a bunch of new functionalities which we are showing here fulfilling GSR regulations, global safety regulations, uh, which we are providing here and a lot of those functionalities go beyond the legal required uh, functionality. We have uh, a lane change assist we are offering here we have our new power steering, uh, electric power steering, which we are offering here. We have connectivity solutions with our scalar fleet management solutions. We have new cybersecurity solutions. And I could continue, so you see a lot of new technologies which we are providing here. And all of that is recognized by our customers. And you will see, we will announce as well new partnerships with OEMs here, because they select us as their partner of choice. Yeah, I mean, that is always a challenge, but uh, with our close relationship to our customers, we have a lot of dialogue. And one of our most important mottos and a part of our DNA is we are customer-centric. So that means we are listening carefully to our customers and find individual solutions for their needs in their markets, for their brand DNA and the legislation in those markets. And what we see in regard of hybrid is that in a lot of markets, hybrid technology is now demanded as a kind of bridge technology. And therefore, we agreed with our customers to develop such solutions and we will introduce that now in different markets in the near future. Asia is a more and more important market for us. But it's not a new experience. We are since many years active in Asia and different countries, be it in China, in Japan, in India, and in many other Korea and in many, many other markets. But what we are seeing right now is that China is more and more taking a leadership role in technology and we are introducing more and more, more new technologies as well as our Chinese customers. And we see India in a very prominent role in, in two regards. The one regard is there is a stable GDP growth and with this stable GDP growth there is more transportation needed and more transportation need more trucks. So vehicle production will raise. On the other side, and that's the, 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 the second area, we see India government working straight forward on new safety regulations to make India traffic safe. And we have exactly the right technology for that. And in that regard, we support our customers to fulfill legislation. And then there is maybe another topic to be mentioned. I think India commercial vehicle industry is now ready to go as well more for export. Mm -hmm. And when they go for export, they need technology from ZF as well to compete with international competitors. And here we are supporting our Indian customers happily with customized solutions. Right. It definitely, the, this gap is getting reduced pretty fast right now. So see how fast the introduction from Barat 4 to Barat 6 happened. See the safety regulations on uh, ESC, for example, coming into the market. Now first driver assistance regulations come into the market. So here, uh, that's a kind of technology jump which is happening. And we are happy to support the customers with that. What we see in addition is that India government has a very stringent approach in regard of how to develop infrastructure in the country. 
and that gives us a clear indication about as well alternative power trends which are about to come, H2 for example in different areas, as well immobility in the urban area. So therefore we see that there is a lot of development in India and the gap definitely closes pretty fast. That is not a, a one-size-fits-all answer on that because the markets are different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in, in Europe, to start with that, we have regulation with minus 15% next year, minus 45% 2030. Okay. But there are a lot of boundary conditions which still need to be fulfilled that we are reaching that. At the end, a truck is an investment good and the, the fleets are working on a TCO basis, total cost of ownership basis, and they need to have the right business case for that. So boundary conditions to be set. In North America it's pretty similar, but North America is more working with incentivation while we see in Europe more regulation, which is making it a little bit more difficult. In China there's a clear path towards e-mobility. And by the way, in China, the zero emission includes always as well hybrids. And that is a clear indication why hybrids are playing a role. So in, in, in all this environment, uh, our customers, the OEMs, need to fulfill the legislation. And therefore, they need to have different technologies. And in this context, hybrid technology can play an important role. And therefore, we are developing this technology right now. Uh, to summarize, amazing. It, is, it was absolutely the right strategic move for ZF. So we have now safety, advanced driver assistance solutions, and we have powertrain and suspension solutions. And with that, we are the powerhouse in commercial vehicle supply. And we can play now on our strengths. We can combine those technologies, and we can derive out of the passenger car technology in ZF further the technology and innovations and bring it into commercial vehicles and have the economies of scale on the other side. So we are very happy with this acquisition. It is fitting perfectly in our strategy. And as you see with the appreciation of the customers as well here on this fair, it's paying off. I think with the ZF innovation power and the acquisitions which we did in the last few years with TRW and Wapco, we have actually all what we need to be successful. So for sure, we always have our radar on and do a little bit here and there, but the major steps are now taken and now it's about leveraging what we have brought together. And here we have great opportunities and therefore we are convinced we will grow over proportionally in commercial vehicle business in the upcoming future. So actually, if you look to 24, uh, I would talk about a slowdown in some markets. European market has a slowdown as well. India domestic market has a slowdown and as well North American market shows some tendency of slowdown right, right now. That has to do not so much with transportation volume. Transportation volume is still there, but a lot of the fleets are hesitating actually to invest heavily in new commercial vehicles because of the uncertain macroeconomic boundary conditions. So therefore, it maybe will take some further months until the investor is coming back, but it will come back. Most probably is somehow in 2030. What does it mean for ZF? For us, we are used to this ups and downs in the market, so we adapt actually our manufacturing, and then we are prepared for the growth again next year. Principally with our technologies as ZF, we have over proportion growth opportunities because with a new regulation on safety, on zero emission, on connectivity, we have exactly the right technologies to provide for our customers. So that means we are not growing with the production rate of commercial vehicles, we grow over proportionally with content per truck. And in regard of India, India has for us a more and more important role in our global portfolio. We have since many years, since decades, a local setup, it's local development, local production, and a local test track, which is unique. Yeah, yeah. This, this test track and our local R&D, we can develop all needed technologies locally, directly with our customers. We see significant growth opportunities in India with both 
this vehicle production rate, but as well with new, new content with our new technologies. So a very important market of the future. We will grow over proportionally in Asia in the upcoming years by clearly saying European and North American market will stay important for us. But clearly, if you look to the opportunities and the demography, Asia will play an over proportionally important role in the future. Process.